everyone, my name is Steve Barton. Uh, we're doing another video for Solid Rock Machine Shop. My son Adam Barton once again is behind the camera. Today uh, we're going to uh, work on pouring some molds for lead hammers. Uh, the lead hammers, they work real nice for setting parts up and tapping them down and getting them to go nice and flat on your parallel. The lead is very soft and it will mushroom over as you can see and eventually they'll get into this shape and so you either throw them away and buy new ones or you make yourself a mold and then you go ahead melt some lead down and pour you some new ones and today we're going to show you a real simple picture that we made where we can just re-pour these heads every time they get this shape mushroomed over and uh, uh, right now we're working on a little uh, ladle that will hold the lead as we pour it we already got a whole board out in there uh, we use this, it's a homemade board bar that I uh, made a number of years ago uh, with a clamping system on there. Uh, you can use some of the uh, inserts that do not have holes in there and this will hold tighter than just about any system that you're going to ever find. And then on the market this is homemade, uh, but uh, it's amazing how strong that system will hold that insert in. Uh, we're using this boring head over here and under the, uh, the three holes in the bottom and they're three-quarter diameter. We've got the whole board out now, and what we want to do is we want to put a chamfer in there, and so we want to come around with the chamfer tool, holding the board back. But the problem we got is that this is a half inch diameter, and the hole in the bottom is three-quarters. So a real simple trick that you can do is you can make a little sleeve like this. It's three-quarters on the diameter. On the ID, it's a half inch. It's got a split right down the middle. That way you can take this tool, you can stick it in there, stick it up like so, bring your uh, boring head down, and then what you want to do is line up one of the flutes on uh, here so that it's lined up just right so that it will cut. Tighten it down. And then, uh, this is our adjusting so that we can uh, get the proper diameter we want to cut. And this, there's nothing precision. We just want to get the cutting edge in far enough that we can get a nice chamfer. We'll turn the machine on and we're going to slow this way down. The chamfer to its high speed steel. You need to run slower. This is carbide insert. You can run faster. You want to get your quill set and you want to uh, lock the quill down a little bit so that it's not going to rattle on you. And then you just come down. And you can see we got a nice chamfer. You can uh, use those sleeves with different diameters. A lot of times I need a small hole I need to bore. I have this quarter inch boring bar, so I got another sleeve where it's a three quarter diameter. We use a carbide boring bar, and we can stick this in whatever hole is appropriate, and then do some small diameter work with it. So just because you have a three quarter inch hole there, doesn't mean you're limited to just three quarter chain diameter tools. Make a, a, a little split sleeve like this, and then you can use whatever size that you want to. What we're going to do now, we turn the, this ladle up at an angle. We're going to take this half inch end mill, and we're going to put a little spot down here so that it will help the lead pour out the direction we want a little easier. Turn it down. 
we got the makeshift ladle all made, got a handle welded on it. We're going to just clamp it right up here for now. And his vise. I don't do any fish anymore, but I went through an old ta tackle box I had and found a bunch of these lead uh, sinkers. And I'm just going to throw those right in the bottom for now. We got these other sinkers. I'll have to melt uh, and get the brass off. And then we're going to melt uh, the head of this off as well. So I'm just going to melt uh, over top of here. And now we'll go to this fixture. Just a simple homemade jig that I made. Uh, I've got two halves of a piece of pipe. Uh, just took a piece of pipe, sawed them in there, face the ends of them off, split them in half, popped this hole. Uh, let me grab the handle. Where's the handle? Pop the hole in here so that the handle can fit in. Let's see. Like so. I can hold it there. A little bit awkward. And you can see inside that's where the handle sit in. We can set this in this jig. Now this jig is designed so that this handle will hold the handle up. It's designed when we pour the lead in there that uh, it hit on the bottom and won't flow up and out. But this is longer here than it is here so it cam locks into place. And let me grab my wrench. And you can see how nice and solid that holds that right in place there. You can position your handle so it's lined up, uh, that it's lined up just perfect. Uh, with the way we're going to pour the lead, pull this off for a minute. Hold here. And now, We'll work on uh, melting this lid down. Hopefully, hopefully the spark will be plenty hot enough for that. Got the lead melted pretty good. We got some slag on the top. Won't be able to scrape that off. What I'll do is I'm hoping that it'll work is that I can just uh, stick this piece of steel right over across here and catch the slag as I pour this in. We got plenty of lead left over. Once it's cooled down enough, it does shrink in the holder. You can see it, uh, if Adam, you come closer. You can see as I move this handle, you can see it actually moving around in there. Uh, what I'll do is take this wrench, turn this, pull it out. And then the parts will fall off and you can see we got us a nice poured lead hammer. And every time that mushrooms out to the point that uh, it doesn't work good, you just pour your lead, put your little homemade jig, and make it a brand new one again. That's it.